This instructional video describes the operation of the Positector PC Powder Checker from Defelsco Corporation. Powder coating is a technique of applying dry paint to a part. Finely ground particles of pigment and resin are electrostatically charged and sprayed onto electrically grounded parts. The charged powder particles adhere to the parts until melted and fused into a smooth coating in the curing oven. Coatings must be applied within minimum and maximum dry thickness specifications, but waiting until after cure to measure thickness can result in product waste and production delays. The best point in the process to measure powder thickness is immediately after application. The Positector PC Powder Checker is a simple, handheld, non-contact instrument that measures uncured powder coatings. It uses ultrasonic technology to automatically calculate and display a predicted cured thickness. The instrument consists of a base unit and a probe that communicate with each other via Bluetooth wireless technology. The wireless probe has a range of 10 meters or 30 feet. The base unit can attach to a belt, remain in the carry case, or conveniently attached magnetically to a nearby steel structure. Start by powering up both units. Begin by pressing the check button on the probe, followed by any button on the base unit. Both units will signal when the wireless connection has been made. On the probe, a Bluetooth symbol will appear. On the base unit, the probe icon will stop flashing and the unit will beep. To zero the probe, first place the included fixture onto a smooth, flat, uncoated surface. Then place the probe into the fixture. On the base unit, select the zero menu option. It is a good idea to perform a probe zero at the beginning of every work shift. To measure, bring the probe to within 5 centimeters or 2 inches of the coating powder part. Press and hold the check button. Then bring the probe close to the coating powder. After 2 to 5 seconds, a cured thickness result appears on both the probe and base unit displays. Let's take a closer look at the probe display. Three symbols appear when the button is not pressed. An icon showing battery status, a Bluetooth function icon indicating the probe is communicating with the base unit, and the last predicted cured thickness measurement. When the button is pressed, the instrument begins to acquire samples and the display changes. As the probe is brought closer to the powder, a distance paddle appears. Here, the paddle is below the target bar, so the probe must be brought closer. Here, the paddle is above the target bar, indicating the probe is too close to the powder and must be moved away. For best results, allow the distance paddle to move either side of the target bar. This will happen naturally if parts are moving. In fact, it is often better to avoid trying to hold the probe perfectly steady, as shown by this extreme example. To review, the distance paddle moves in relation to the probe's distance to the part. The probe is properly positioned when it is approximately 18 millimeters or 3 quarters of an inch from the powder surface. Orientation is also important. The probe should remain perpendicular to the part not moved around at angles as demonstrated here. An amplitude indicator measures the strength of the ultrasonic echo and helps the user orient the probe properly. A high position indicates good probe orientation relative to perpendicular. A low amplitude indicator position means either the probe is poorly oriented or thicker powder is being measured. When the probe is in proper position and good samples are being collected, a solid dot blinks. When samples are inconclusive, an X blinks. Here is a close-up view of a good measurement operation. 
let's look at the step-by-step -step measurement process. Bring the probe to within 5 centimeters or 2 inches of the coating powder. Press and hold the check button. Bring the probe closer to the powder. While watching the probe display, align the distance paddle with the distance target. After approximately two seconds, a cured thickness result appears on both the probe and base unit displays. While the probe button is depressed, probe distance and angle should be varied slightly, keeping the distance paddle close to the distance target bar and the amplitude indicator at maximum height. Release the button when you hear a double beep or see a thickness measurement on either display. Wait one or two seconds between measurements. Poor probe orientation will lengthen the measurement time or result in no thickness prediction at all. If a thickness result does not appear after five seconds, release the measurement button and try again. Small, erratically swinging parts may present measurement challenges. Steady the part whenever possible. If erroneous readings continually result, Change the measurement strategy by rotating the probe, altering its alignment to the part, or by measuring in a different location on the part. For best results, use statistics mode to generate averages. The average of a series of measurements is often a more meaningful prediction of cured thickness than a single reading. To work with averages, use the base unit menu to turn statistics mode on. Take several measurements. With each result, the display will be updated to show the maximum and minimum values, plus a rolling average and standard deviation. To quickly clear the display and begin fresh, simply press the plus key, then continue measuring. There are four types of displayed measurement results. One, a normal predicted thickness result. 2. Zero, meaning the collected samples have resulted in a good reading, but the resultant predicted cured thickness is less than the minimum range. 3. Pluses, meaning the collected samples have resulted in a good reading, but the resultant predicted cured thickness is greater than the maximum range. 4. An indeterminate or invalid reading. With basic operational knowledge and a few minutes of practice, the Positector PC Powder Checker from DeFelsco will provide fast, accurate powder thickness measurements.